Yep. Did the committee get it right? Okay. Was so this fair? It wasn't fair, but I don't think the fair and right thing are how the committee look at it. Okay. You know, because if you listen to anybody from the committee or even like Kirk Herbstreet, who's been the voice of college football for the last 30 years, he said one of the criteria, and I had to bring it up to make sure I say it right, is other relevant factors such as unavailability of key players and coaches that may have affected a team's performance during the season or likely will affect its postseason performance right. is something that is judged alongside conference championships strength of schedule head-to-head -head. and if you heard Boo Corrigan talk all year at all Boo Corrigan obviously the athletic director at NC State he's also the chairman of the college football playoff committee so he's from the ACC actually on Tuesday nights whenever they would do the college football rankings reveal he would literally answer questions to Reese Davis in a manner in which he was saying absolutely nothing Reese would be like well is it who you beat is it how you beat them is it when you beat them and Boo Corrigan with a straight face would look at him and say we look at everything Okay, who's eating what food the night before games? We look at that. When games happen, we're looking at that. Who's playing? We look at that. When the games happen, we look at that. If they won, we look at that. So basically, they made this criteria so that you can never really guess what they're Couldn't talking about. Yeah. You have no idea. Yeah. In, in doing so, you'll never get it right, I don't think. Mm -hmm. But also, in their eyes, you can never get it wrong either. In saying that, you saw the Michigan reaction. Whatever Michigan found out <laughs> that they were playing Alabama didn't want any part. as opposed to playing Florida State. The whole room said, ah, <laughs> bam. You actually heard it yeah. echo through the hotel yeah, yeah. Right. in Indianapolis. And that is because Jordan Travis was the guy for Florida State. This is a bummer. I was very lucky to play on a team that represented the Big East Conference and went on and did things that nobody expected us to do. We were playing against the, the blue chip teams. We were up there. We were mixing it up. And if this would happen to a team that I was on or if I have a baby boy someday and my boy was on a team and this happened, I would be incredibly upset about it, so I understand that. But whenever you think about what the college football playoff committee is looking for, it's like – I think everybody knows that at this point of the season, mm -hmm. Alabama is a better football team than Florida State. It's a shame that we'll never be able to find out if that's actually true on the field, but I think in everybody's eyes, except for Florida State people, that's how they think. Question. I agree. I, 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 it, and I, we talked about it. We had this very topic. I said, I don't see a scenario in which Alabama beats Georgia and they get left at home. Mm -hmm. So you're asking the committee to leave two 12 and one SEC teams home. That wasn't going to happen. That is Nick And Saban. you have a one-loss team in there with Texas. Yes. So one-loss team from the SEC, no. One-loss team from the Big 12, yes. That would yes. be an interesting with what we know about college football. Correct. And considering that is Coach Saban, he is the pantheon. If you're talking about Mount Rushmore, he's the first head to the left of college coaches. You're not leaving him in that program. So now you got three blue buds. You got Michigan, you got Texas, you got Bama. UW is an outlier, but they deserve because they beat Oregon twice and they won the conference championship. So I got no problem with that. And Pac-12 better than ACC this year. I think yeah. we all, everybody that watches college football yeah, come has on, been man, but that all year. I, I look, I, and I get it. You're, you're absolutely right. You're supposed to be able to decide it on the field. They went 13-0. and 0, They won the conference championship. Yada, yada, yada. I get all that. But y'all going to need, hey, y'all going to need to take that Justin Timberlake and cry me a river somewhere else because I'm over it now. I'm all about Alabama. They moving on, and Alabama going to win this thing. So I don't care what seed. Mm -hmm. I don't care about no mustard seed, no grape seed, no sunflower seed. Alabama in two. You know, what makes me laugh about all of this, and I shouldn't say laugh. Mustard seed that, that, is what you yeah, yeah, he said. Or grape seed. seed. Or money. sunflower. He said mustard seed. This, this, this is the thing that makes me, it's like the, the hypocrisy. It's like all of a sudden we're talking about, oh, my God, how unfair this is. College football has been unfair to numerous teams throughout the years. It was unfair to Ohio State. It was unfair to TCU and Baylor. It was unfair to Central Florida. It was unfair to a litany of teams. I go back to Cardell Jones filling in when JT Barrett went down in 2014. Cardell Jones went out there and they beat Wisconsin 59 to nothing. All of a sudden, they go to the playoffs and they win a national championship. Yes. You're Florida State. You understand. This is the first time we heard about style points. They knew something about style points. Was Jordan Travis went down? Did you think it was going? you were going to hide behind the fact that you struggled against Florida? You was going to hide behind the fact that you struggled against Louisville. It was a 3-3 game for crying out loud in the second half. What are you talking about here? And then you got Alabama. So that's the number one ranked team in the nation that they're playing in Georgia. for the 29 SEC straight. Season. 29 straight. Back to reigning back. two-time back-to-back national champions. We go to the SEC championship game. Not only do we beat them, but we remind everybody who we are because we're 11-1 in SEC title games under Nick Saban, by the way. So we got all of that going on. And then the biggest thing to me, Pat, I kept saying this, and I'm going to say this again, and I'm going to say it till the cows come home. TCU got stomped in the national championship game last year by an SEC team. 
You can't risk having back-to-back -back years where somebody who clearly doesn't belong there yeah. on that stage is on that stage. Mm -hmm. And because Jordan Travis was out, style points were going to come into consideration. And that's really what this comes down to. You can't have a situation there where, okay, Florida, congratulations, Florida State, congratulations to them. But y'all ain't had a second string, third string quarterback out there, you know. No, nobody wants to hear that. Right. When you talk about national championship, you want everybody with all their horses. Who are the best teams? And there's no way in hell that you can look at Georgia and Alabama, two SEC teams, and say neither we have one of them are a top four team in the nation. Right. Impossible. And we, none of us agree that this is the right way of doing this. Right. Like Should the have been B more teams. The BCS wasn't the right way to do it way back in the day whenever it was just two teams like 30 years ago, and it's kind of apropos. School that I went to, West Virginia, undefeated. But instead of getting in the national championship, Florida State got in the national championship. So West Virginia fans from way back still think that they were national champions from 30 years ago <laughs> when they didn't have an opportunity to get into the national championship. And it's like, so this has been a college football thing right? seemingly forever. It's like too many people with opinions, ideas, eye tests, all of that, because football is supposed to be figured out on the field. That's why the 12-team playoff next year can't come soon enough. Mm -hmm. And, Unc, when the 13th team, Yes, that's, that's, exactly. that's the thing. Look at, college, look at college basketball, Stephen right. A. Yeah. Remember it used to be 64 teams? Yes. Now it's 65, yes. now it's 68. Well, here's and my we're problem. always crying I, about something. How come y'all never brought this up? They made the decision that we're going to 12 teams, right? But we have to wait until 22. So dumb. Why? I brought it up. Why don't you do it immediately? Well, watch your mouth. I brought it up on college okay, game I, day. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear that. I'm okay, sorry, Stephen, I, well, I just want to let you know. I'm usually <laughs> watching you coax dudes into missing field goals and stuff like that. 100,000. 100,000. And missing it wide, left, wide, right. Right.